Today, we are programming a twin spindle lathe with C and Y axis milling, and we're doing it with the new Esprit. Defining the workpiece and stock is straightforward. Auto dimensioning of the bar stock is intuitive and easily modified. Here, we will increase it to add additional material for the front face. We're going to use 2 millimeters, about 80 thou. Next, we need to select the machine that we're going to run this job on. Esprit includes an accurate representation of the machine and the components that are specific to your machine to give you the correct digital twin of your machining environment. Next, we specify which spindle is needed for this job. For the main spindle, we'll need to add both the chuck and the jaws. Component selection is simple, with an interactive preview of components available before you add them. An accurate definition of the cutting envelope is critical to a successful prove-out. For better grip on the workpiece, let's flip those jaws real quick. Okay, looks good. Next, we mount the workpiece in the main spindle. We do this by graphically mating the stock to the jaw face, then specifying that the bar sticks out by 100 millimeters. This information is then carried over to the setup sheet for proper documentation. We continue by adding the chuck to the sub spindle, but this time we're going to use custom soft jaws. We can define and cut the soft jaws inside of a spree for a fast and accurate setup. Up next is tooling. Esprit embraces the concept of modular tool assemblies. First, select your turret's tool blocks and mount them to the correct stations. Here, we're going to use a twin turning tool holder style tool block, so we can use this turret's indexed station on both the main and sub spindles. Select the adaptive items one by one by selecting individual components from the tool library. Select the correct insert for the job, and our tool is fully defined. Once we have the tool built, we can simply drag and drop it to easily duplicate the tool for the subspindle orientation. While building tools, you see the digital representation update for live and interactive feedback. You can also store a set of tools as assemblies. Here, we're loading all of the tools needed for this job. You can preview the tools directly in the Explorer before loading them into the document for easy visual feedback. The setup is now complete and we're ready for cutting. We create the features easily by selecting the geometry to use, or by letting Esprit's advanced feature recognition functionality create the feature directly off of the model. We then select the process we would like to use. In this case, we'll be running a grooving operation. We can see a preview of the selected tool projected on top of the feature to be machined. This way, we can visually verify that the tool is fit for the feature that we're cutting. Esprit offers many strategies for cutting a groove. Here, we're using the profit turning cycle. Profit turning is an innovative cutting cycle that enables 25% higher cutting speeds and 300% increase in tool life over traditional turning methods. Continuing with the programming, we apply processes to the different features of the parts. The program is automatically populated. The green lights in the program show that the process was successfully created and it is collision free for this machine and setup configuration. All operations are created with awareness of the stock to prevent air cutting and in turn, reducing cycle time. But what if we run out of Y-axis stroke? All milling cycles inside of the new Esprit can be switched between XY motions and XC motions with full support for polar interpolation formatting. We can also create part handling operations using dedicated and native functions like pickup, bar feed, and cutoff cycles. The program automatically detects part repositions, transfers, and workpiece ejections resulting from these operations. Esprit analyzes the entire machine environment to produce safe, collision-free linking moves between operations with zero manual input required. Verification and analysis is already built into the physics-based simulation engine simulating potential collisions, axes over travels, acceleration exceptions, and channel conflicts, all inside of Esprit's digital twin. The new Esprit also provides easier programming and improved performance. The brand new ribbon style modern interface dramatically improves the user experience and facilitates a natural programming workflow. 
With a 64-bit platform supporting GPU computing and multi-threading, the new Esprit drastically improved toolpath calculation speeds for various processes. Once the program is verified, we're a single click away from G-code. Esprit has the best turnkey post processors in the industry. And that's the result of working directly with all of the OEMs and their engineers. With Esprit's digital twin, including machine models, controller emulators, machine parameters, and post processors, the system delivers accurate simulation and edit-free machine-optimized NC code.